Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, Jiwo here and we are back with another episode of Mega Man Battle Network 2 for the Game Boy Advance. In our last episode, we made it here into the Undernet. Um, so, this is where all the Navis hang out and cause a scene, you know, cause a ruckus. So first we're going to start off by getting into a random battle. And as you can see here, there are a lot of new Navis. Uh, yes, or somewhat new. So, we're going to want to take out that ghost ASAP. And this guy shouldn't be too tough to take out just because he's fire and our Aqua Gut style will take him out with two charge shots. Okay, and look at this. We got the Meteor 15D chip. Now, this is a pretty sick chip. If only I had a bunch of decoded chips, I would probably use it. But it shoots 15 meteors each. I believe each one deals 100 damage. So that is pretty amazing. And oops, I did not mean to go down there. I meant to go over here. Now this is what I meant when I said you needed all, as much Zenny as you wanted, and good thing we got that last 30,000 Zenny rep in net area. Um, got a bunch of HP memories that we can pick up, so two, and they aren't cheap, we just busted about, or we just spent, I should say, 45,000 Zennies on HP. Again, it is October 31st, and I'd love, to, I'd like to wish you all another happy, happy, happy Halloween. Uh, it's, <laughs> man, it's crazy. It's my second Halloween since I've started Let's Playing, and I, it's, man, it's been a long time. That's all I can say. So I hope you're all gonna have a safe Halloween. Do you have any plans? Anything like that? Because I am planning to go to round one tonight at the Pony Hills Mall. If you've been there, I don't know if you've been there or not. But uh, it's really fun. It's like a arcade slash bowling slash karaoke place. Really, really fun. Uh, really, really fun again. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can take out this guy. But yeah, me and my friends are going to dress up in our Halloween costumes and probably show up there later. Probably around 9 p.m. tonight. So if you live by the Pony Hills Mall, keep an eye out for uh, Finn and Fiona because that's going to be me and Justine. Yeah, we're going to wear our Halloween costumes while we play some arcade games and sing some karaoke and probably do some bowling and all that fun stuff so you should stop by <laughs> okay so one thing you'll definitely notice in the undernet is that what <laughs> not this i was gonna say that you know navis are really really tough but it looks like we've got our second style change so yep a style change it must be and look at mega man he's evolving into a red mega man and what style is this? It's beep beep. Looks like a new style has evolved, but what? Heat shield style. Heat shield? Style? <laughs> this is a fire Navi style, ideal for skilled defenders. Navis with this style are equipped with a barrier. Push the B and left immediately to put up a shield. Also, charge shots will turn into flamethrowers. Careful though, you take twice as much damage from Aqua. Wow, good job Mega Man, heat shield style. Wow, I can't believe how much heat power I can feel. You can always pick Mega Man from the menu sh and change style. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I don't really like using that because I'm more of an offensive type rather than defensive. So I'm going to stick with my Aqua Gut style because we do tons of damage with that. And then we're going to grab this blue mystery data over here, which is a HP memory. So that puts us at 800. Awesome. Okay, so let's keep going in the undernet. I know it's this place must seem like a huge maze, but it's not too hard to navigate. But in this episode, we're going to do a lot of backtracking. Alright, here we go. Looking good. 800 HP. We are buff. So we're going to head over here and talk to this program, and he's going to be like, turn here, down the hill. Wait, turn here, down the hill is undernet 3. Go ahead for the undersquare. I may look like a bad guy, but I'm really nice, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. He gives directions, so that's nice. So as you can see, my busting level is dropping a lot in this area because the enemies here have a ton of HP. And they deal... are pretty tough to delete easily unless you have some awesome program advances, which I choose not to use. Because I was doing some research on this game. And like I said, I was doing research on this game, and there's a program advance that deals pretty much like 900 something damage to any Navis on the screen. I believe it's like the gate. The gate arch, it, I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's pretty amazing using the fan, I think the wind boxes and the uh, gate man ships, you're able to totally demolish anything. Uh, yeah, pretty much any Navis on the screen. So it's pretty much, uh, I don't know, I keep saying pretty much a lot, but you're, you're able to pretty much. <laughs> 
delete any Navis and get an S rank with that program advance. I feel that's kind of cheap, so I'm not going to use it unless I, I don't know. I'm just gonna not going to use it. But here we are in the undersquare, uh, undersquare entrance. Uh, looks like there's a, another way to get in here. Not too sure how to do that just yet. So let's just run into the undersquare, talk to some programs. Okay, he's like, hey, have, you se have I seen you somewhere before? And he this is a famous informant. This is the guy they were talking about that they even know me in the internet. So we need to figure out the keyword for calling Doc. Uh, we have to, I mean, we pretty much pay him 10,000 zennies. I mean, we have a lot, so we're, we're going to do that. And he's going to tell us the info, which is the Navi that knows the keyword is in NetSquare, or so I've heard. It's a purple Navi, and it's pretty greedy. I wonder who's more greedy, me or that purple Navi. Okay. So thanks for that advice, man. We appreciate that. Some group gospel is spreading its influence. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, guar. If you want to menace someone, first thing you do is yell. Ah, blah, blah. Okay, so here are the message, the internet info boards. A uh, lot of interesting stuff to read here, uh, but I'm just going to skip most of it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that's pretty much it when it comes to that info board, but this one over here is the secret info board. Uh, this is the secret board, no ordinary people are allowed. Okay, and we'll come back there later. So first what we're going to want to do is run over here and talk to some more Navis. Hey kid, go back to the regular regular net unless you want to die. Well, that's pretty mean. Uh, this guy is selling sub chips. I'm going to buy some full energies from him. And what is the removes traps on mystery data? Huh, might as well buy one for the heck of it. And... Buy another full energy, because who knows when we'll need it. But yeah, let's head over here, and then we can buy another power-up, which is pretty dang awesome. So we're going to blow some money, buy about one, two, three more HP memories. And, jeez, looks like we're at 860 HP. That is pretty ridiculous, man. Alright, so how much... How much do we have left? 650,000... Okay, cool. Alright, now what we're gonna do is want to head back to NetSquare, so I know this is kind of a hassle, but we're gonna have to do it this way. Okay, jack out, head back through Dex's computer to the square. And then we're gonna take a shortcut back to um, NetSquare. Okay, we're good to go. Now let us freaking teleport. Oh man, and run all the way to the square, and then we're gonna take the shortcut to the undernet, or not the undernet, to net square. Man, there's like all these squares, it's pretty annoying, I don't like this system at all. So we're gonna take this top warp, and yeah, here we are in the net square entrance. So let's take this top left entrance, and we have a purple Navi that we need to talk to. It's not this guy, is it? Oh, it is this guy. The keyword to call for the dock? Well, I heard my friend knows it. Where is he now? I think he left to buy a, left for the net to buy a chip. I don't think he went too far. Now, remember that Navi that was by the net shop dealer that was, uh, that was complaining about it, that he didn't find any chips that he wanted? Well, that's the one we're going to. But anyway, we're going to buy the last two HP memories from this guy. And just like that, all our Zenny is gone. We're only at 37,000. And what were we at before? 183? That is... that's insane, man. Okay. So, at least we're at 900 now, which is pretty sick. You know, I might as well save my game because if I get deleted, I don't want to redo all this again. This has been a good nine... more than nine minutes of my life. But yeah, see, we need to get to that purple Navi by the net square... Er, the net shop dealer. Uh, it's a short little run. Shouldn't be too bad. So, let's run over here. Yep. Get back over there. And down the hill, to the left, or to the right, wow. <laughs> okay, and there we go, we get a Raton 1 chip. And just for the heck of it, I kind of do want to show the heat shield style just really quick. Oh wow, I didn't even use my power up yet, so let's upgrade our rapid speed, and... Mega Man's almost maxed out, just three more power ups, and five more... Five more HP memories, and I'm sure I skipped some, but who cares. Huh? You want the, you want to know the keyword to call the dock? I can't tell you for... I can tell you, but it won't be for free. Give me your Zap Ring 2B in payment, and then I'll tell you. Oh, it was a Zap Ring 2B, not an S. My bad. But uh, luckily, we do have one. I didn't even know. 
but you're a clever one, you scratched my back, so now I'll tell the key tell you the keyword to call the doc. Listen up, because I won't say it twice. The keyword is the keyword is the keyword is is World Wide Web. Nah, no, it's World 3. That was a criminal organization from the first Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> That's right. That's all I know. Hope it helps. Cool. So let's run back to NetSquare and then we can head to the internet. Now check this out. Don't I look extra cool with my heat shield style? And look at when you charge your Buster, you're actually able to f fire a flamethrower. But uh, and then if you sh use B and back, oh wow. Okay, we'll wait for another battle to show you. <laughs> uh, but it's cool because you have a little barrier up, and I'm. I don't really know much about this style, so I'm not going to use it. I think it'll just save you from taking some hardcore damage. But let's see this. But uh... Flamethrowers! But yeah, be in back and you're able to put up a shield. Let's see if we can do that right here. Oh. Come on, let's see. Come on, shoot something at me, man. B and back. Oh, that was my B button, huh? Uh, but see, look, you're able to put up a shield like that, which... Let's see. Come on, shoot something at me again, man. Good. If I could time this right... Alright, you know what? Screw this. This is dumb. I'm just gonna throw a big bomb at this guy and he's gonna die. <laughs> GG, no re. Alright, so that's why I don't like using this heat, sh heat shield style, just because it's kind of weird, man. So we're going back to our gut style. Look how much power we have. We're sticking with that. Man, that was a good waste of time, huh? Now I don't even think I can get back to the undernet in time. But, hey, let's do it anyway. Yeah, it's a lot of running around. I mean, you could either go through net square or net area 3, or just... Man, I don't know, you could fly all the way to whatever that place is, Nettopia, and then going that way. All in all, I think going to Nettopia and going to Miss Millions is... might be a little easier because you don't have to run into a bunch of different... Oh wow, I don't know why I did that. A bunch of different viruses. Yeah, like I was saying, you won't run into these random battles, but... it is really going out of your way if you really want to get it. If you, I mean, <laughs> if you want to do it that way, because then you gotta take the airplane trip, blah blah blah. I don't know, I'd rather just go through all these random battles. But seriously, look how much damage I'm taking. I'm at 380 HP. Those Ratons are just super annoying, because if you don't take them out in one shot, they start moving super fast, and it's just ridiculous. Okay, so... Almost there. Let's just keep running. Let's keep running at the speed of light. G-Woe's running at the speed of light. 300 zennies, I'm so rich, I feel so rich. Okay, so here we are back at the undersquare. Or almost there, to the undersquare. Underwear, the undersquare, that was the title of the last episode. So let's keep going, time to make another mad dash to the undersquare. <laughs> I keep saying undersquare. Oh man, 240 HP, I'm gonna die soon, and I don't wanna die. So let's just keep going. Almost there, man. Uh, so how? Uh, what do you, I mean? What are you guys up to? Uh, you guys? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty bored. Oh man, so many random battles. It takes so long get to get back to the under square. And this is what this. I told you this episode was gonna be a lot of backtracking. All right. Let's keep going. We'll be there in no time at all now. Just hold buttons left and right, and it'll take us there soon enough. Just please don't let me run into any more viruses. All right, recovering more HP, 150, so cool. So run past that little program. Let's keep going, we're almost home. More mystery data. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, yeah. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, ow. Gotta catch them all, 2000 zennies. Charmeleon, Wartortle, Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl. 
I'm a knight, slow bro, Pidgeot, Arbok, that's all folks. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all, gotta catch him all, Pokemon. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all, gotta catch him all, Pokemon. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all, gotta catch him all, Pokemon. Hey! Alright. So we did it. We made it all the way back here to the undersquare. Ours over here. The undersquare. It's the secret info board. Wait, was I... Do I post something in this one? I'll post some keywords. Go to it. World 3. Lan, it's posted. Wonder if he'll come, or is it just a rumor? According to the rumor, if you post this word, he'll appear somewhere in the undersquare. Wanna go look? Hope it's not just a simple rumor. Let's take a look. Yeah, man. Adventure time. So let's see. Anything in the secret info board? Nope. Anything in the internet info board? Ah, look at megaman.exe to doc. Looks like there's new writing, and that's all we posted is just www. The World 3. Okay, so now there's this crazy looking guy who just appeared out of nowhere. So let's save our game. Probably gonna be a little afraid of what happened next, but let's do this. Hoo hoo! What a cute customer we got here. What's wrong today? Does your tummy ache? Hoo hoo! What? A cure? What a Navi like you do with a playing doctor? What? To break the ice? Hoo hoo! Sounds fun. But since you've reached me, you must be kinda tough. Alright. You can have the cure, but I want all the power-ups and battle chips you've got equipped in exchange. Deal? Aw, oh, man. Yeah, just say yes. <laughs> Alright, give me that stuff. The doc took all of Mega Man's power-ups and battle chips. Mega Man's level has gone back to one. Womp, womp, womp. You lose the game. Heh, <laughs> you're brave. I like you. I'll make your cure. But first, here, take this back, with interest. Mega Man got his power-ups and battle chips back. Mega Man's level is back to normal. Mega Man got a chip for anti-recover D. Actually, I was looking into that ice myself. To make the cure, yellow cure, that can break yellow ice, you need a yellow frag and a heat data. That's all I know. I got myself a yellow frag here. If I had a heat data, I could make you a yellow cure. So, do you got a heat data? Of course, man, I came prepared. I'll make your cure, but first... Wait, but hand that over first. Okay, let's hear here. Clicky, click, click, beep, 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 here you goes. I'm a genius, I tells ya. Mega Man got the yellow cure. With that, you can break yellow ice. I know this guy in Natopia too, whose brother tried all sorts of things to break the ice. He might know something useful. If you try hard enough, doors will open for you. Now, ain't that some life advice? Alrighty. Well, it looks like we're going to end our episode here because we have done a lot today. Just a lot of running around. But yeah, more backtracking in the next episode. Hope you all have a happy Halloween. Uh, this is going to be my last episode for the day just because it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. We've just been doing... I have a fun night planned ahead of me. So, take care, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe tonight. Let me know how your Halloween goes tomorrow, and G-Wo out.